Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Google Chrome and Google Chrome extensions. Now, due to time constraints, I'm not going to talk about how to install Google Chrome on your computer. If you haven't already, I think you should. But what I really want to focus on is the Google Chrome extensions. Now, what these Google Chrome extensions do is give your Google Chrome browser uh, some more functionality, added functionality, which lets you do all sorts of neat stuff and some pretty neat things for education. So, to show you how this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Google homepage and I'm going to type in Chrome extensions. And what's going to happen over here is I'm going to get a link. I'm going to go to the Chrome web store. Don't worry, we're not buying anything. And I'm going to show you a, a, an extension that I learned about recently at a conference which blew my mind. It's called the Language Immersion Extension. So I type that in up here in the left hand corner. Now, I've already installed this on my computer, but when you see this, what you'll see is a little button that says Add to Chrome. So you're going to click on that and it's going to say, do you want to add this? You go, yes. All right, the neat thing is, here's the magic, is we're going to go to uh, any web page. I have a Yahoo web page open right now, and it's a news article. Now, what I'm going to do first before even reading the news article is I'm going to go over here to the upper right-hand corner, and I'm going to choose what language uh, I'd like to learn. So in this case, we're from Quebec. I'm going to put in French. And I'm going to choose my immersion level, okay, how, what kind of, how I feel I am when I'm speaking French, reading French. So over here, if you look carefully in the article, you're going to see half of it is in English and half of it is in French. Now what's neat, it is allows you to learn the language in context with the language that you're already familiar with. So over here, let's give an example over here. It talks about life jackets, a nekoye pa, they were in life-threatening danger. Well, even if I don't know what that means, I can sort of maybe try to figure it out in context. But if I'm not sure, what I do is I click on it. Oh, and didn't believe. That's what it means. And I can put it back into French. So it's really neat. Instead of just translating the whole article, it translates just little bits and parts of it so it still keeps it in context with the language you're familiar with. Now, here's the neat thing. If you go in here and you are more comfortable, you can slide this slide over here to the right. And what's going to happen is the article is going to be more in French and less in English. And the same thing, you can go there and click those little things that are highlighted in blue to change them back and forth between English and the language you're trying to learn. Um, if you want to, you can click right over here on this little wrench tool and you can click on Speak Translations. That's another little feature. So there you go. That's the Chrome language extension.